frames like this with a flat flanger on the bottom are commonly used for mounting machines and carts. The cope joint lets you make a frame like this without special tools. As with any frame, we want to make sure we mark the pieces out accurately so we can get all the pieces the right size. And then we can cut the pieces to the right length and with nice square ends. Even with the pieces cut to the right dimensions, we can't get a flat bottom to this frame. To get a strong flat bottom to this frame, we need to remove the material that's under the top piece here. The cuts to remove that material is what we call a cope. To make a truly square frame, we double the thickness of the material here, in this case a quarter of an inch, and then cut opposing side pieces a quarter of an inch shorter than the rest. Using the piece that we want to fit into the cope as a guide, we scribe off a cut line. We have to remember that this cut line is outside of the piece that we want to put in there, so when we make the cut it has to stay to the inside of that line. You can make these cuts any way you like, but I like using a jigsaw because it lets me be very precise. You can see that I kept the cut to the inside of the layout line. If I need to, I can always sweeten this up later with a file or grinder. Now one more cut flush with the other side of the angle and the cope is done. Now we can test fit the pieces and see if we need to do any filing or grinding to sweeten the joint up. This one looks fine. When the cope is cut right, even this outside edge comes out flush. I like to use my Bessie angle clamps whenever I can for this kind of work as it lets me tack the pieces up and keep them very square. My Bessie welding magnets also do a good job of holding the pieces in the right orientation for tacking and welding. Once all the pieces are tacked together and I'm happy with the way the frame is, then I can go ahead and do the finish welding. I usually do all the welding on the outside of frames like this so I can keep that inside flange nice and flat. That gives us a smooth, solid surface for whatever we want to put in there. Then if the project needs it, we can grind all the welds flat and the frame is done. And that's all there is to making cope joints. This is very easy and once you do it a couple of times, it goes real quick.